Hello my Cine Chums and welcome to week 15 of the 2023 Weekly Movie Challenge where every week we challenge you to watch a movie that meets certain criteria preferably a new movie to yourself however if you want to watch Karate Kid for the hundredth time then I guess You're the best friend I ever had Last week's challenge was to watch a movie that featured a live action character interacting with an animated character and you guys absolutely smashed it as usual we covered the main three animation styles. So we had traditional animation, which featured Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Evil Tunes, and Anchors Away. You covered stop motion animation with Marcel the Shell with Shoes On, The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, and Caveman. And you also covered CGI animation with Detective Pikachu, Ted, and Avatar Way of the Water, to name but a few. We had five movies in top spot on two watches apiece this week. They were The Congress, who Framed Roger Rabbit, Paddington, Dungeons and Dragons, and Thor Love and Thunder, aka Thor 4, which unfortunately didn't reach four views, because then I could say we had 4 4 Thor 4. And just one shout out this week to Ryan Andrews on Twitter, who watched three movies. They were Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and Finch. Check out the video description below for the full list of movies that you fantastic people watch for this challenge. And so on to this week's challenge. This week, your challenge is to watch an underdog movie. A movie which sees the protagonist or protagonists at a disadvantage and unlikely to succeed against their foe or general opposition. Now most of the time when we think of underdog movie, we think of sports movies like Rocky, The Karate Kid or Rudy. So because of the abundance of underdog sports movie lists out there, I'm gonna focus a little bit on non-sport related underdog movies. So to start with, four movies which feature an underdog fighting the establishment. First, Erin Brockovich, a true story about a single mother fighting a powerful corporation. We have the true story Selma, about Martin Luther King's fight for voting rights. There's Norma Ray, about a textile worker who becomes a union organiser to fight for better working rights. And the ever popular Shawshank Redemption, about a man wrongly convicted for murder. There are underdog movies about discrimination too. There's The Imitation Game, the true story about Alan Turing, who cracked the Nazi's Enigma code, but was discriminated against because of his sexuality. There's Hidden Figures, about three African-American women who were vital in NASA's early space missions, but discriminated against because of their colour. There's The Theory of Everything, about renowned physicist Stephen Hawking and his battles with ALS. Or The Elephant Man, about the severely disfigured John Merrick. You could watch an underdog movie about proving others wrong. For example, Legally Blonde, in which the stereotypical airhead blonde L. Woods tries to win back her ex-boyfriend by attending law school. Or the animated Kung Fu Panda, about a bumbling panda who gets named the prophesied hero, the Dragon Warrior. You could watch the heartwarming Little Miss Sunshine, about a dysfunctional family's road trip to take their daughter to a beauty pageant or one of my favourite movies ever, 12 Angry Men, about one juror who stands against the unanimous decision of 11 other jurors in a murder trial. And finally, there's underdog movies in which the protagonist is battling to make themselves a better life or to live their hopes and dreams. For example, The Pursuit of Happiness, in which a struggling salesman is battling against homelessness and poverty. There's Billy Elliot, about a young working class boy who, wants, who dreams of becoming a ballet dancer despite the opposition of his parents. You could watch Joy, the true story of Joy Mangano, a single mother who created her own business empire. Or finally there's Precious, about a young African-American woman who struggles to build a better life for her and her family, despite abuse, illiteracy and poverty. So what are you thinking? Let us know in the comments whether you are planning on watching a sports movie or a non-sports related underdog movie. Also, don't forget to use the comments to make any recommendations of your favourite movies that would meet this challenge. If you've ever been an underdog, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to share our challenges with friends and family and strangers online. And on that note, thanks for watching, good luck with the challenge, and we'll see you next week.